Okay, in this clip then we're going to look at uh, how to calculate the laminar boundary layer thickness. And we're going to use, um, again, an example of a flat plate. Um, so we have a flow coming over and the boundary layer will, gr will grow along the, along the plate. The thickness of the boundary layer is commonly denoted as delta. And at a certain distance, let's use the distance x is equal to half a metre. So at a certain distance uh, along this plate, um, we get our, our boundary layer thickness. And the further along the plate you go, the boundary layer thickness um, grows. Um, let's um, assume that we've got a Reynolds number of 10,000. And um, uh, there's a separate clip to show you how to, how to calculate the Reynolds number. Um, so, uh, so yeah, these are the conditions that we're going to work out what the boundary layer thickness is. There is an equation for it which is actually derived from experimental um, data. And that's uh, delta, so the thickness of the boundary layer, divided by this distance x is equal to 5 divided by the square root of the, of the Reynolds number. And, and, and like I say, that's obtained from experimental uh, measurements. So in our example then... Um, the Reynolds number is 10,000, so the square root of 10,000 is, is 100. So we've got 5 divided by 100. So therefore the boundary layer thickness is going to be 5 divided by 100 times by x. And in this case, x is a half. So all of this lot comes out to be 0 0.025 of a metre or 2.5 uh, centimetres. Okay, so um, so yeah, this this uh, thickness of this laminar boundary there then will be two and a half centimeters, a uh, half a meter along the plate. Um, the further down the plate you go, the boundary layer thickness will grow, um, but it's not as simple as just changing the x here, because the further down the plate you go, the Reynolds number is also increasing, so this increases as as well. Okay.